What's your first impression of Korea? There are so many people here. <laughs> Lithuania has three times less people than Seoul itself. Oh, wow. The Seoul as a city is always alive. It's, it, it seems like it never sleeps. So it's really both nice and it could be a bit frustrating from time to time. Uh, I really like Korea mm -hmm. a lot. Yeah. Mostly positive? <laughs> Mostly positive, yes. Okay. I love it. <laughs> I love the style here mainly the traditional culture the food is so good you know the people that I've met here like local and people that are on exchange are all like just so incredible and it's been really great so far <laughs> so. I guess I had a lot of expectations mm -hmm. and so far they've been met Korea is um, really nice and like it's easy to live here there's a lot that you can do and experience because I've been here for three times the two times I came here was for BTS concert <laughs> so when I came here for holidays, I really liked it. So that's why like, I really wanted to study here in, um, in Korea. But when I came here, I realized that I feel like everyone in Korea is really confirming to that one majority. In winter, everyone wears black padded Aww. jacket. Spring, you say like they were pastel color. I feel like I feel like I really stand out here, not because of just my hijab, but like, well, that's it. I guess that's... Why? Because of like, I look different. So far, is very calm. The people here are really nice. Very positive. Um, everyone's been very friendly. No huge uh, negative uh, experiences as of yet. How often do you experience racism or prejudice mm -hmm. in Korea? I had like two instances. Was it, was, it wasn't really racism, but mm -hmm. it was like more a question of curiosity. Mm -hmm. One of the people I was hanging out with, she was mm -hmm. Korean, but she like knew Spanish. Yep. She just commented like, oh, most of my Hispanic friends uh, straightened their hair. Mm -hmm. And I was just like, oh, okay. Uh -huh. <laughs> um, do you, I don't, do you want me to like straighten? Like, I don't know uh -huh. what you're trying to get at. When I was first here, yeah, yeah. we went out to drink. The waiter was kind of a little rude and he was like mm. giving us weird eye looks. A staring and stuff. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. Actually, I feel like I didn't really experience a lot of racism mm -hmm. here. I've heard from like some of my friends that I've yeah. had instances. I don't know, I'm part Asian and I feel maybe that's why. No, I have not. To be honest, it's, be it's been completely the other way around for me. Uh, they seemed very welcoming. Mm. People smile here a lot, mm. so that's very nice. And you're trying to say something in Korea and they feel really happy. <laughs> like I can notice when people are looking at me or talking about me. Um, but nothing like up front, nothing that you would experience in the United States. What do you experience in the United States? I have no idea. <laughs> I come from a Muslim background, uh -huh. so it's very easy to be targeted, especially in really? America right now, mm. um, due to the political climate. So mm. I've definitely heard things like terrorist and oh, like, oh, things oh. like that. I haven't. I haven't experienced racism in Korea. Uh, I don't feel it's towards me, but more like they just stare on me. So you haven't had trouble with uh, your religion maybe? No, because we don't really have to go out for religion stuff. We can just do it at home. So yeah. like. I think there's like a clear division that they try to make between like Korean and foreigner. You know, like with Wegugi. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I feel like I have some Asian ethnicity. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so sometimes people, I, they perceive me as Korean. For me personally, mm -hmm. is when I go into shops, mm -hmm. the employees will like follow you mm -hmm. around the shop and everything that you touch, mm -hmm. they will like move and alter. Uh -huh. Like your your foreignness gets on the, <laughs> <laughs> the objects and they have to like wipe it with their Koreanness really? to make it okay again. Kong Day, they'll do it mm -hmm. in like, you know, nicer shops in like bigger, like super malls or whatever. Mm -hmm. They'll like do the same thing. Mm. It's a, bit of an odd mm. thing but it's just my personal opinion but that happens to me sometimes too so okay maybe, i don't know oh maybe i look like not korean <laughs> <laughs> do you think koreans are racist i don't think they're racist i think they're like there's not a lot of foreigners here right. or like uh, when you do see a foreigner they're like <laughs> do i think koreans are racist um i think they Everyone's racist in their own way. Mm -hmm. I think Koreans don't intend to be racist. They're like, well, you know, we're a homogenous society. Like, we can't be, ra be racist if there's no other races here. Right. If they don't know any foreigners, then obviously they're going to put some, like, stereotypes and mm -hmm. prejudices onto them. Is there a stronger tendency? Depends where you go. Mm -hmm. uh, in Seoul, not really. No one really stares at you. But if you go to, like, you know, smaller cities mm -hmm. in Korea, then, like, definitely you stand out. Prejudices tend to be applied a lot heavier. Mm. Korea is very homogenous mm -hmm. and a lot of people think of a lot of Americans as SJWs or like sensitive types. That's because in America you have to like 
be politically correct mm. because of the climate and the political tensions and just all the types of people that are there. Mm. But I think Korea, because it's so homogenous, there's still a lot more learning that it has mm. to do. I think Korea is a racist, but I haven't personally um, experienced. Okay, so you've heard a lot of things that Koreans are racist. Some things. Um, one of my friends when we were in Busan, yeah, uh, she's African American. Uh -huh. uh, she had like an older lady yell at her in the street and spit on her. What? Yeah. Just because she she was there. Pretty much, yes. Oh my god. Um, yeah. I'm from Busan. I'm so sorry. <laughs> oh my god. Oh. Do you think the Korean culture is very different from the culture of your country? Oh yes. It's different in various aspects, whether it's the technology that rules Korea, that's everywhere, K-pop, we have K-drama, that's all over the place, and, it, and how it connects uh, people, not only from Korea, from all around the world. One of the biggest shocks for me about the culture here was how hard people study here, how serious they take education, so it's very different back in Europe, although yes, we do study, but uh, I wouldn't say that education takes the number one spot, as it seems, uh, in many cases here. What, what is the number one thing uh, of importance in Lithuania? Oh, it really differs between age. For example, if you're a teen, that's socializing with other people, just social life, parties and such in general. Another big one was the food, because I still cannot get used to the food. <laughs> the fact that there's so little vegetables or fruits here, especially fruits. It's really weird for us Europeans as they're very, pretty expensive. Maybe the drinking culture? <laughs> the drinking here goes on till like the AM. Whereas in Canada, Montreal, it ends at like, like everything closes at 3. Here it just keeps going no, and then you just yeah. go to class. It's like 6 AM and then maybe take a shower. It's great. <laughs> you change clothes. Nobody knows. It is different even from the United States, like t just taking off the shoes mm -hmm. and just also the food. That has been a major thing for me uh -huh. uh, because the flavors are so different. Is it too spicy for you? Not at all. Oh, okay. um, like Hispanics tend to have like a spice. Oh yeah, yeah. It's not like super spicy, but it does get like really spicy. If I, mm -hmm. And I have a lot of like dietary restrictions. Uh Everything here has like something that I can't eat. Oh, oh like God. meat or, or uyu, uh -huh. milk. Oh, carb. so you're a vegetarian. I'm like, I'm vegan. A vegan, okay. Yeah, but I'm like trying to not be super strict here okay. because it's super hard. Yeah. Also like the fruits are like really expensive here mm -hmm. when it comes to drinking. Mm -hmm. Because in America, um, you know, when you drink, it's kind of crazy. Mm. Like you, it's oh my god, you're drinking. You can't just walk around with a bottle. Oh, that. <laughs> yeah. But here's kind of like, yeah, we're hanging out with friends. Mm. Let's go for a drink. They don't have so many restrictions on mm. alcohol. Then they don't get super crazy. But right. in America, because they do, mm. at least in New York City, um, we go crazy. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> I'm from the South originally, so I'm used to like telling people hello and making oh, small yeah. talk and things like that. So that's very very different culturally mm. so people here don't do that people here do not make small mm. talk mm. at all um but if you're like on the subway or on the bus and you're talking too loud those ajamas they're gonna tell you to be quiet mm. the dating culture mm. in here people are really touchy really? in the public well in indonesia that's like no no, no, no yeah no. it's all like the small gestures because uh -huh. like uh, when you pay in the store you always have to use like two hands to oh. give them your card what was your biggest culture shock or uh, cultural difference you experienced um, here? When I would uh, watch YouTube videos before mm. coming here, the main thing was saying like, oh, Korea is very fast. Mm. Uh, when you're chatting with somebody mm. and they're Korean, they like respond really fast. Oh, really? And, but in the New York City, like mm -hmm. just walking here, they just walk so much slower. Oh, really? Like I try to pace myself. Uh -huh. Let me enjoy, I guess. Uh -huh. It was it's so hard uh -huh. to do it because I'm used to like, Fast, quick, fast. quick, quick. Oh. It's just so much cleaner here mm. compared to New York City. And the trains are just so much fancier. And just the system, how it is here, like you have to tap in and tap out. Mm. So I'm very conscious of keeping my stuff with me mm -hmm. and not trusting anybody. Mm. But here, you can just leave your bag on the chair and leave your phone and leave your laptop all sprawled out and it's okay. Mm. Um, so that was very, very different for me. Because I'm from the South, people are a lot more um, friendlier. Here, you don't really see people like holding open doors mm. or like saying excuse me or thank you. Food-wise, mm -hmm 
because I am vegetarian, so I think it's really harder for me to right. eat here. The majority of the population is just like Korean, yeah. and versus like in Montreal, Canada, like it's just so multicultural, and like I'm so used to seeing so many like different faces. Mm -hmm. Here, maybe you like see the look, or like you see people like looking at you because you look different. Yeah. How did you try to overcome these cultural differences? Well, coming here, I very much wanted to experience like this culture and living in a different culture. So I feel like I just try to adapt uh -huh. as much as possible. Right. But like Scandinavia, we also take our shoes off. Oh, really? So, like some I didn't things, know that. yeah. Uh -huh. <laughs> some things are like similar, and I feel like it's mostly just the small things. Like I take off my shoes. I'm trying something new. I'm in a new place. It's kind of like I forget. My brain just doesn't connect yeah, the dots. Yeah, yeah. Okay. it's been interesting. Okay. Like, you have to just keep an open mind while you're here. You don't say, like, I read in this book this one time that Koreans are like this. So if you go to Korea and Koreans don't do that, don't be shocked. Mm -hmm. uh, especially foreign girls, when they come to Korea mm -hmm. and they meet Korean boys and they think that they're going to buy their f food and be all oppa mm -hmm. and go to the club and the boys are not as similar to that. <laughs> they get a little surprised. Yeah. Don't be surprised. Mm. The age respect here is very important and sometimes I just have to like remember like, oh, because they're older than me, I have to give them like twice the amount of respect, bowing and things like that. It's easy to forget, but it's it's also very meaningful here. I try to adjust. Yeah. I still try some Korean from time to time, although as I hate spicy food, but overall it's okay. Uh, you still have meat, lots of meat. So. What's your favorite dish so far? Korean barbecue. I, I really enjoy the dishes uh, itself and the whole process of making it. Do you think it's difficult to make Korean friends here? Oh uh, yeah, mm. I think so because I don't speak Korean at all. I know how to read, mm. but I don't know what I'm reading. Mm. We went out with these Korean girls before, mm. and when we see each other, we just say hi and stuff, but we mm. don't hang out, yeah. They're conservative in yeah. a way, like they just don't come up to you. Unless right. you're like in a group, like you get introduced there. Right. Like if you don't have somebody, mm -hmm. at least one person, you, I feel like you can just walk up to somebody and be like, hey, wanna hang out? Which Yes. Yeah. An advice that I would give would be exchange programs yeah. dedicated for exchange students, and then they have those that are taught in English for Korean students. Mm. So I enrolled in one of those. By doing that, I met like a lot of local Korean students and we've become friends. I'd say Koreans at first seem like very shy people, but when you start talking to them, it's not that difficult because language exchange is really popular here. If you really want to find some Korean friends, it's not hard. You can just come up to someone and ask, do you want to speak in English sometime? I think it's definitely harder to make Korean friends than uh, international friends. Mm -hmm. When we say hello, yeah. like Western people, I guess, mm -hmm. we always like hug, we're very oh, touchy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, Koreans don't do that. Oh, yeah. um, I've made a mistake of like trying to hug my friend goodbye. Do not recommend was it's super awkward dude? was it a dude no it's a girl it's still oh. kind of awkward really oh dudes are even more awkward yeah like, right no have you dated a korean person i have not <laughs> dated you want to try maybe i do <laughs> want to try <laughs> there's so many like couple things here uh -huh. i just like i just want to try it i want to try it so bad yes i have dated mm. a korean person while in korea mm -hmm. my relationship experience was is very different from uh like a lot of foreigners that like date koreans our schedules like just didn't really work out like he was very focused on like studying mm. all the time and then he also has his clubs where like you know you have to be with them like 12 right. hours a day yeah, yeah oh we wake up and you know we play soccer and then we are with them all day and then we drink with them and it's like a 12 hour thing they're time commitments mm -hmm. are kind of set mm -hmm. if you kind of like come into that schedule it might be a little bit difficult to like you know fiddle around with that mm. schedule no <laughs> two months. you like to why not the dating, the dating culture, culture here yeah. is just way different it's very like emphasized to be in a couple here and like just like restaurants you go to it's like for two people <laughs> I just go and I eat for two. So. <laughs> yeah, I've, I've had some experience with that. K Korean people are welcome. I wouldn't say it's very difficult. I ex expected the whole nation to be way more shy and way more uh, reserved. reserved, yes. I mean, I've been trying to date here, uh -huh. but... I, I don't know. It's 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 hard. It's hard. It's very hard. Uh, I saw this guy for a while, and mm -hmm. then he kind of just ghosted me. Oh. Uh, and I feel like that's that's pretty common, because even my friends who actually have relationships here, uh -huh. one day they just ghost them. Really? Yeah. Oh my god, where are these guys coming from? <laughs> like you? <laughs> no. No. Absolutely. <laughs> Would that be a thing? 
I'm not looking for it, okay, right, but okay. I know some people do. In Indonesia, mm. some kind of fantasy about Korean men? Oh, yes, yes. So most Indonesians, <laughs> they think what they see in Korean dramas and movies, what happens in real life. Mm. I guess they want to come here just to experience those, but like, that's not how it is. No, Korean men look like me, <laughs> <laughs> unfortunately.